What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm doing a swatch video. I'm going to show you swatches and a tutorial using the Pat McGrath Mothership Palette. Um, I've had this for a couple weeks already. I have done some looks and used it for the gram. But today I'm going to show you guys swatches and do this look that you see that I have on now. So if you're interested and you want to keep on watching, we're going to get started. Guys, so before we get started with the eye look, I am um, going to show you the packaging and then I'll show you swatches. This is what the packaging of the palette actually comes in. So beautiful. And then the back of it just says the name and all the ingredients. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys the swatches now. Um, but here's what the actual outside of it looks. It does have a little bit of fingerprints because I have um, used it already. But it has the Pat McGrath and then um, these little symbols. PM Labs and then I think it's a crown and it looks like an eye. Like an eyeball. And like I said, I have used it so it does have a little bit of fallout on the palette itself. But it does come with a big ol' mirror as well. Um, but this is the palette. So here are the swatches of all ten shades. They're just so beautiful. And they're super buttery. Okay, so now yeah. you guys have... Okay, so now that you guys have seen the swatches, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the eye look. I'm just going to kind of like go with whatever color I go with. Um, and I just realized that this mirror had a plastic on it. So let's peel that off together. Punch this way. We're going to peel this off. That was probably the hardest plastic I've ever pulled off of that. Now she's super shiny. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit and we're going to get started on this look. My eyeballs, well not my eyeballs, but my eyelids are already primed and powdered because uh, that's how I like them. So, let's do it. A big old fluffy brush actually yeah that's what I'm gonna start off with and uh, I'm just gonna go in with the shade right here and I'm not gonna do anything crazy I just want to like put some of these glitters all over my eyes and a little bit of this brown mat. I think I'm getting a little a little sicky sick. I think this one needs to be just a little bit darker right in through here. I hit the wrong brown. I did. I just went in with the darker brown. Well, shit. That's what I get for not looking. It's okay. We'll just blend this out. So, I accidentally tapped into this darker one right here. So that's the one I'm going to go in with on the other eye. I'm glad I didn't want nothing too dark, but hey, it happens. So, what I'm going to do next is 
go in with a little brow bone shade and I'm going to use this one right here. It's like a really pale sea shelly, sea <laughs> seashell color. I'm just gonna go right in there. Nothing too dramatic on the brow bone. Almost has like a gold sheen to it, huh? Yeah, it does. Okay. So I'm just gonna go in with a larger fluffy brush real quick and kind of, oh shit. This brown hair keeps throwing me off. Just kind of go in with it right there. That's why there's nothing harsh. And then um, back under, and I'm not gonna put any product on this. I'm just gonna use whatever's on it. I want to go in with this one or this one. I think I'm going to go in with this baby. I always do gold looks. Okay, we're going to go in with this one right here. Okay, and I'm just going to go with my finger at first and I'm just going to put it all on the lid. That's what she looks like. <laughs> guys it's like butter and I'm just gonna use a smear up close so you guys don't need no glitter glue nothing basically all on the lid that's where my finger is putting it all at That's so pretty. We're gonna go in with a little more. You guys, like, seriously, this is fucking freaking, this is beautiful. For the inner corner, since this is basically in there as well, what I'm gonna do is, um, Go in with a little pencil brush and add some of this um, other shade right here. This one right here, just to like top it a little bit. This is just a little pixie pencil brush. And I'm just gonna put it right there. That way it brightens that little piece at the inner corner. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, so now that we have a little bit of glitter under our eyes, I'm going to clean that up, and then we'll come back and put some lashes on. Um, I'm going to get my lashes prepared, and then I will show the lash application on here, and uh, yeah, BRB. Okay, so I cleaned up under my eyes a little bit. There's still a little bit of fallout, but that'll be okay, because I'm going to go back in and repowder my face when we're done. Um, but I'm just going in with a little bit of this Trish McAvoy, I think it's a lengthening mascara, high volume. Ooh, my nails look so gross, you guys. Oh, shoot. I'll just let that dry and I'll fool like it off when I'm done. This isn't the best mascara, but, um... My mom gave it to me, so I use it. Um, but I do like it for the bottom lashes, which I'll do when we're done. And for falsies, we're gonna go in with the Tarte Glamazon lashes. These are one of my favorites. So let me get that ready, and I'm gonna use the House of Lashes 
lash glue up per usual. Okay guys, so I finally finished off my face makeup. I added um, a lip gloss and I'm done. Um, this is the completed eye look. I love how it turned out, you guys. This palette, if you're a makeup collector like I am trying to be, this is definitely one to have in your collection. Pat McGrath is so, um, her line is, to me, it's elegant and it's expensive. It's nice. It's nice quality and, I mean, come on. You just cannot beat these shades. So I highly recommend this palette if you guys are debating on it. Anything Pat McGrath. Minus foundation, which I wasn't too, I wasn't a big fan of her foundation. I did review that as well. But her eyeshadows, nothing compares to these. They're buttery, they're smooth. You don't need an eye, not an eye primer, you don't need an eye glue to apply it. And overall, she gets an A plus from me from this Mothership palette. So I hope you guys did enjoy watching me come up with this look and start just playing around with the shadows really was all I was doing. And um, yeah, if you did like the eye look and how it came out, the video overall, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye.